Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to give you a quick tour of my workspace and show you how I've set it up to be most productive and comfortable for my workflow. I know it's been a while, I've been saying that I've been getting to, you know, getting to do it, but uh, you know, I had my desk torn apart, I had a few things come up, so here we are. So whether you're a student, a freelancer, a professional, or a gamer, I hope you'll find some inspiration in this video that you can possibly take and apply to your own setup. So moving on, let's take a look at my desk. As you can see, it's quite simple and overall minimalistic. I stick by the idea of less is more, and I try to keep my workspace as uncluttered as possible. This helps me stay focused on what I'm doing and avoid distractions. Let's start with the core of my setup, my computer. I actually have this PC as well as a MacBook Pro, but the MacBook is getting old and really due for an upgrade. It's from uh, 2015. So my main computer currently has been the PC. I'll put the specs of the PC on the screen right now. I originally got this PC strictly for gaming for nights and weekends, but uh, you know, as time has gone on, my MacBook just isn't up for, <laughs> up for the task much anymore, so this has been kind of my main workhorse for everything. My main monitor for productivity has been this LG Ultrawide. I wasn't sure if I was going to be a fan of the Ultrawide, but having one for a while now, I don't think I can go back to just strictly having a 16x9 monitor. I actually love using this Ultrawide so much. I used to have two here, but I wanted to have a monitor with a high refresh rate for gaming, so I swapped my other one out. That's where this 27 inch gaming monitor came in. It's an Alienware 27 inch 240Hz refresh rate monitor, and is considered one of the best for first person shooter games, which I typically like to play. Next up is the mouse and keyboard combo. As I mentioned before, I like to keep my area clean and minimal. So the thought of having an RGB gaming keyboard and mouse with all the wires, you know, isn't really the look that I was after. I've had the MX Ergo mouse and MX keys combo for a few years now, and it's the perfect blend of minimal but function for me. A quality keyboard and mouse are crucial for anyone who spends a lot of time in front of their computer, as they can help prevent strain and injury. Next up, let's talk about lighting. Good lighting is essential for productive workspace, which is why I keep my key light accessible at all times next to my desk. I replaced my actual desk lamp with this salt lamp as it added some character to the space. The desk light I had previously did provide more light, but I replaced that with the key light to reduce clutter as I used this light for multiple use cases. This one is actually, it's also color and directional adjustable so I can direct the light wherever I need it most. Now let's talk about the fun stuff. Decor. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have much other than a few pieces of art that I do on the weekends hanging around my space. I keep a few little items on my desk that I've received as gifts from people, my old camera, and that's about it. Of course, the desk is nothing without the tools you use to work. I have a notebook for jotting down notes and ideas, a planner for keeping track of deadlines and appointments, and a few pens for when I need to write something down. These are all simple yet essential tools that help me stay organized and on top of things. In addition to my computer, I also have a few extra items that make my work and gaming life easier and more efficient. I recently decided to upgrade my audio for this setup from a Blue Yeti microphone to the world-renowned Shure SM7B. This mic is notorious for being gain-hungry, so I paired it with an Elgato Wave XLR to ensure it was powered properly. Audio is almost everything, so having something like this was important to me. Just above my monitor, I have a webcam hooked up for virtual calls or meetings. Having these tools easily accessible makes my life much smoother, and they allow me to be more productive and get things done faster. Finally, let's talk about ergonomics. Being comfortable and healthy while you work is just as important as having the right tools and technology. I actually have a custom desk that I made sitting on two IKEA drawers. I'm looking to add adjustable legs to this and have the option to sit or stand. I just haven't found the right set that can support this desk. I made it by putting a few 2x8s together as well as sanding it down, staining, and sealing it. It's about 9.5 feet long, I think, so finding the right motorized legs to support this has kind of been a challenge. As for my chair, I just have a cheap office chair at the moment, but getting a new one is at the top of my list currently because this thing is falling apart. I have been looking into splurging for Herman Miller, just not sure if I want to go with the tried and true Aeron or the Embody. I'm actually partial to the Embody as it just looks so unique, but we'll see. If you tried either of these, let me know your thoughts and why. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my desk setup and learned a thing or two about what goes into being a productive and comfortable workspace. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. Like I said, you know, I just had a few things going on, but here we are. Remember, everyone's setup is different and what works for me may not work for you. 
The most important thing is to find what works best for you and make your workspace a place where you feel motivated, productive, and comfortable. Don't be afraid to experiment and make changes until you find what works for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.